My name is Dr. Jonathan Schott. I'm a reader in clinical neurology at the Dementia Research Centre here at UCL. My interest is in understanding the causes of dementia and uh, how we can best design uh, new ways of identifying dementia and tracking disease course for clinical trials. The dementias are a huge unmet need. There's over 850,000 people with dementia in this country at huge cost to society uh, and to individuals. We don't have any treatments yet that can halt the progression of the major causes of dementia such as Alzheimer's uh, disease and uh, to do the trials that are necessary we need to use imaging uh, techniques both to identify people who would be best enter to these studies and so that we can monitor the effects of uh, potential treatments. MRI is a, a fantastically powerful way of imaging uh, the brain and is used routinely to look at the brain structure. But an extremely exciting new development is a non-invasive technique for looking at how blood flow alters in the various dementias using a technique called arterial spin labelling uh, MRI scanning. So this project which goes across from the clinical to the image analysis side will use uh, different forms of ASL with an attempt to optimise uh, the technique for best use to identify and track disease progression uh, in the dementias. I'd now like to hand over to uh, Dr David uh, Thomas who will talk through some of the technical aspects related to the ASL sequence. Hi, my name is David Thomas and I'm a Principal Research Associate at the UCL Institute of Neurology at Queen Square. And my main area of research is developing novel neuroimaging techniques using MRI with a particular focus on developing methods which can be used for the characterisation and early diagnosis of neurodegenerative diseases. This project is focused on developing um, and improving one of those techniques, a technique known as arterial spin labelling or ASL. ASL is a method for measuring cerebral blood flow or cerebral perfusion in a completely non-invasive way and so without the need for injection of a contrast agent making it easy to use um, and completely safe. There's mounting evidence that vascular dysregulation is one of the early hallmarks of, um, of the development of neurodegenerative disease and so having a method to measure cerebral blood flow in a completely non-invasive way would be invaluable. ASL has been used previously in the study of dementia um, but it's what it hasn't found widespread use due to the technical challenges that it faces which affect the accuracy of the measurements that it can make. So the aim of this project is to focus on uh, tackling those challenges, both from the image acquisition side, that is improving the quality of the data that comes from the MRI scanner, uh, and also on the image registration side, ensuring high quality of the data um, and, and no artefacts. Uh, we're looking for a student with a strong background in physics and computing, uh, who's keen to make a contribution to our ongoing efforts to, to defeat neurodegenerative disease, uh, which is one, one of the biggest public health issues of the 21st century. UCL is a great place to do this type of project due to the interdisciplinary research that goes on at Queen Square. I'm based within the neuroradiology department and I work very closely with the Dementia Research Centre which is in the same building um, and the collaborations between the computer scientists, the physicists and the clinicians means that this type of project has the greatest chance of making good progress.